sodomy laws, the buggery act. Where does that story start, hmm? Take it away, disembodied voice. The origins of British sodomy laws can be traced oh, back... Oh, this is a bit dry, isn't it? Hang on. Is that my voice? Yep. And here's a section I'm going to call a brief history of British bum sex. To get to the bottom, wink, of this sodomy thing, let's go back in time. The British invented a lot of things. Spice Girls, sandwiches, passive-aggressive apologies. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. But they didn't invent sodomy. The Greeks can't take credit either, though they may have been the first to put it on their kitchenware. I think it's very stimulating indeed. But here's the rub, and tug, not everyone's a fan. <laughs> By the year 395, sodomy is a sexual sin, taking its name from the biblical story of Sodom and Gomorrah. It's not called Gomorrahry because that is a mouthful, which is a whole other thing. But let's not get bogged down in semantics, we're talking about the law. In 1290, a survey of English laws mentioned sodomy in passing. But it's more than just bum sex, it includes sex with Turks, Muslims and Jews of either gender. Sorry, Mr Sheffield, turns out you're a sodomite. I think that's a load of old codswell. 1533, the Buggery Act. Henry VIII declares the death sentence for... For the detestable and abominable vice of buggery committed with mankind or beast. Well, it is a slippery slope. 1644, Edward Coke agrees, buggery is... Detestable and abominable sin among Christians not to be named. Think you just named it, mate. Ooh, bugger me. 1765, William Blackstone includes sodomy in his commentaries on the laws of England. As the world moves into the age of empires, England exports its ban on bum sex to the colonies. Thanks, guys. By contrast, the French decriminalise it in 1791. Oh, this affects the Netherlands, Portugal, Spain, meaning most countries colonised by other European powers don't inherit anti-gay laws. Uh -huh. Everybody talks about sex! Nah, mostly the Brits. Today, of the over 60 countries that still criminalise consensual gay sex in private, the majority inherited those laws from Britain. Now that's what I call a bummer.